Hello, it's Chris again. I'm going to show you a new feature from Ezra X58 Supercomputer Motherboard today. It's Easy OC technology. As we know, the X58 Supercomputer has great overclocking capability. However, even this motherboard has great overclocking margin. Some users still do not know how to overclock their system correctly and properly. That's why our R&D department has developed a new technology, the Easy OC, to make the systems overclocking very easily, safely, and aggressively. So let's have our R&D engineer George to explain more about the Easy OC technology. George. Hello, I'm George. Let me introduce the new feature of X58 supercomputer to you. In general, Intel always adds some spec. In BIOS for its processor, including the newest CPU, Core i7. These specifications are the basis of CPU overclocking, which could be the V-core voltage, memory timing, chipset voltage, and so on. In the past, most people might say, I have set the voltages higher and tuned the timing of memory for hundreds of times. But why did not boot uh, smoothly? Due to these inconveniences, we developed a new function in BIOS, the Easy Overclocking. In Easy Overclocking, we had tuned and optimized every specification suitably for user, such as CPU v-core voltage, front side bus or b-clock, memory timing, CPU ratio, and so on. Move to the Smart category. Then choose the load optimized CPU OC uh, setting and press enter. You will see that there is a small window pop out which contains 5 gears 3.6 GHz, 3.7 GHz, 3.8 GHz, 3.9 GHz, and 4 GHz. Although this is an easy way to overclock, it still involves many fine-tuned technical specs. Take some subset categories, for example. When you enable the easy overclocking, some energy saving function of CPU will be disabled. The CPU ratio will be set to 20 when B clock is 180 to 200 which means CPU operates from 3.6 GHz to 4 GHz. I think that the point of overclocking is voltage. So you will see that the key voltages being auto preset and so do the memory timing and voltages. Ok, all you need to do is choose the overclocking gear you want then press enter and F10. It will save your setting and enter the window smoothly. Let me check if it runs at 4 GHz. First, call the ASRock OC tuner and see the central circle. It works correctly. In order to verify if it's reality, we check another program, CPU Z. We choose uh, Core i7 965 as our subject. It runs 3.2 GHz as default clock. Let's take a look. 4 GHz. Which motherboard can reach such high frequency? We call CPU Z to see it again. It's a SROC X58 supercomputer which uses Intel X58 and ICH10R as its chipset. It is not enough to enter Windows under 4 GHz. What about st uh, stability? 
Let's run Super PI 1M for reference. Okay, it's done. 10.312 seconds. This is a pretty good score in overclocking situation. Okay, thanks George. According to George's demonstration, we can find that the easy overclocking technology can really offer people a nice way to overclock their system. Not only on the SRA X58 supercomputer motherboard, we will also implement this nice feature on our future boards like AMD boards, like Intel boards, except the easy overclocking. Ezra will also try to find out more and more nice features for you guys.